we have 2,557 confirmed new cases of COVID-19 in the province. We're now seeing a nearly 14% increase in hospitalizations with COVID-19 patients in ICU increasing dramatically. In fact, we've never had more Ontarians in intensive care than we do today. We're working around the clock to build out our hospital capacity. We've added 3,100 new hospital beds since the start of this pandemic. Cordelucci Vaughan Hospital has been providing pandemic overflow for months now. Right now, we're dedicating an additional 70 beds at the Toronto Congress Centre. These new beds will help more alternate level of care patients out of hospital so we can free beds for COVID patients. And our vaccination rollout plan is well underway. We're making steady progress. To date, 2.3 million vaccines have been administered in Ontario. We have more pharmacies, primary care settings, and mobile clinics coming online every day. In fact, just this morning, a large shipment of AstraZeneca vaccines landed in Ontario. And we announced another 350 pharmacies will offer vaccines across the province starting on Saturday. This brings our total to over 700 pharmacies offering vaccines. And we're ready to ramp up to 1,500 once we have more vaccines. And right now, the millions of additional vaccines we need, they're on the horizon. They're weeks away. We know that they're coming in mass amounts starting soon. And that's how we know that things will get better very, very soon. But the bottom line is that we need more time. We need to close the gap between where we are today and where we will be with the millions of vaccines we're expecting by June. We need more time for our vaccine program to take hold. But we are in a desperate race right now against an extremely, extremely aggressive and fast moving virus. We need more runway to allow our vaccination rollout to get where we need it. And that means we need to take action now. And it's important to understand that the situation is not unique to Ontario. We're seeing provinces across the country and also many states face the same challenges. They're all dealing with the effects of a third wave and a dangerous new variants. So please understand this decision was not made lightly. I know the toll these restrictions continue to take on people's mental health and well-being. And please understand, folks, this decision weighs extremely heavy on me. I know what this means for people to be here over a year into this pandemic. It's frustrating and it's very, very difficult. But we've come so far. We have sacrificed too much to throw in the towel so close to things getting better. And let's be clear, the cost of inaction is simply too high. We know for a fact that the stay at home order, the restrictions we have introduced thus far, have saved thousands of and you have my word, we will be there for you and we will have your back. Ontario Small Business Support Grants, which provides up to $20,000 to help eligible small businesses remains open. During the difficult period, we've extended the deadline for applications through April 7th. And I